here we have a 32 Ford uh, street rod that was uh, already finished, brought to us for some upgrades. We want some LED headlights, he's having some heating and cooling issues, um, so we're doing uh, some AC and some heat stuff, changing it from manual steering to power steering. Um, did a few other upgrades like that. He actually, we got, uh, the flames were already on it and we ended up getting some pinstriping done uh, by Calico. Uh, actually, at the end of this video, we'll have a photo of his car if anyone's interested in that pinstriping. strings in here and some levels just to make sure everything's all squared up before we get started on fitting all the panels and doing all the body work. So we used the original trailer it came in on as a, as a hoist for our frame basically bolted everything down and everything bolted up. So we got started on here just doing some metal repair and some other things. We have a few patch panels because as you can see there's some holes in the bottom sides of everything. It's it's a 29, it's, it's old. So we have a few repair panels that we're gonna patch in there. The panels that you don't have or you can't find or you don't wanna replace the whole panel, we simply just make them. We have a, a bead roller and we can make all this metal if we need to. straightened it all out, had to refit all the trims on the car. As stated previously, a lot of the timbers had come across these fenders in a few spots and smashed all these nice lines down. Um, so we had taken them off the car, put them on a bench, hammered that line all back straight, hammered everything out. Very minimal body work done after that. Uh, all the hammering went very well on the, on the fenders to get everything lined back up on the whole fenders. The hood itself, the hood itself had a big smash in it, uh, pounded that out, straightened that all back out. Basically we wanted to use the fenders and hood that was on the car because they were previously fit. And as if anybody that has done work before, if you buy a Chinese fender or something like that, they don't fit. So these were all fit to the car, so we wanted to reuse them. And 
and what was nice was it was that it was insured properly, which was nice. So the insurance is actually paying to have the car fixed, which is a, a very good bonus for the gentleman who owns it. Like I say, we had gotten the car a few years ago, and this just happened. He didn't get many miles on it, so he's very happy uh, to get it fixed again.